Here we go. Right. From your top. This is Jack Douglas. This is Jack Douglas as a little boy. He was born in the Bronx. In the next three minutes, you'll get to know him. In high school, he was an actor and a musician playing folk music in Greenwich Village coffee houses. There, he was recruited to write and perform rally songs for Robert Kennedy's New York senatorial campaign. Then he heard... The Beatles! That's Bitten by the Beatles bug, he found himself stowing away to Liverpool on a tramp steamer. He ended up on the cover of the Liverpool Echo for his dramatic efforts, which ultimately got him deported back to the States. The remainder of the 60s was spent playing in various rock and roll bands, including a stint with rock and roll legend Chuck Berry. Jack finally achieved musical success with his band Privilege, which was signed by superstars the Isley Brothers. And for the first time, he got a chance to get his hands on a board when they asked him to mix the album. This is where he got a taste of being on the other side of the glass. And from there on out, he was hooked. His next stop was an entry position at the famed New York City recording studio, The Record Plant. That's right, janitor. He mopped his way up through the ranks, landing his first big break as engineer for The Who, tracking their album, Who's Next? He quickly became a hot producer, with a string of A-list clientele including Aerosmith, Cheap Trick, Alice Cooper, David Bowie, Stevie Wonder, Bob Dylan, Rick Dufay, Allen Ginsberg, George Harrison, Patti Smith, Buddy Miles, Graham Parker, Lou Reed, The Knack, New York Dolls, Rick Dufay, Blue Oyster Cult, Rick Derringer, and the list goes on and on. From the time of John Lennon's Imagine album, on which Jack was one of the engineers, he kept an ongoing personal and professional relationship with both John and Yoko. Needless to say, he was surprised when after five years of absence from the music scene, John Lennon asked Jack to produce Double Fantasy, John's last recorded work. This resulted in the 1980 Album of the Year Grammy. The award was bittersweet, since John wouldn't be there to share in the honor. Over the past few decades, Jack has continued his relationship with Aerosmith, Cheap Trick, and the New York Dolls. Oh, and uh, Rick Dufay. Producing Aerosmith's live album, Little South of Sanity, and their latest album, Honkin' on Bobo. As well as tracks for Cheap Trick's latest album, Rockford. And the New York Dolls' critically acclaimed album, One Day It Will Please Us to Remember Even This. Okay, two, still two voices. He's also produced albums for Supertramp, Clutch, Local H, The Trues, Slash, and many, many more. Okay, so let's go one, one more time, and then we die, we go home. Jack now spends his time not only as a record producer, but also scoring films, scouting for new talent, and perhaps most satisfying of all, being a professor at Expressions College in San Francisco, teaching the psychology of the recording session. Now you know Jack.